Do you have any idea what Mumu's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Mumu always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Mumu is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle and everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Mumu to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Mumu. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them unless you imagine that they're a car or, or a plane or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Mumu, you've got five chairs in the garden and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right then. I wonder what Moomoo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moomoo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. <laughs> Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita, you cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right, then. But it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Now 
Now there's only two left. Who's gonna win? <laughs> Why don't we do something, huh? Yeah, but what should we do? Go down the slide again? I've got it. Why don't we try playing some sports? Great idea. It's been a long time since I went running, swimming, or done any exercise at all. Why don't we have a mini Olympics? We could create a track and compete against each other. Whoever wins will get crowned with a laurel leaf crown and will get a gold medal. Milo, you're the best. What a terrific idea. But you can't participate. You've got a sprained foot. Don't worry about me. I'll be the judge and Talala will help me from the sky. We'll get everything ready and then tell the others. Dear competitors of the first Happits official Olympic Games, the rules of the game are as follows. First, you have to run one lap around the track. Then, you must swim in the Olympic swimming pool. And finally, you will have to jump these hurdles until you reach the finish line. Talalo and I will be the judges to make sure that none of you will cheat. And I'm talking about you, Rita. Today, I promise not to cheat very much. What do you mean, not very much? You cannot fool us, Rita. Understood. No cheating at all. The judges will be watching, and if we see any cheating, you will be eliminated. Nobody likes a cheater. On your mark, now everybody gets set. Ready? Go! Action-packed race. This is going to be a hard-fought battle. They've already run more than halfway around the track and are approaching the finish line. Mumu looks like she's the fastest up to now. She's got a clear advantage over the others. Olga and Alfred are even, and Rita is in last place. Now they've got to dive into the water. What a great dive by Mumu! Such style! Rita is quickly catching up with the others. They're reaching the end of the pool, and they're arriving all together. Who will win? Who will win? At the first hurdle, everyone is even. Third hurdle. Oh no! Mumu is tripped and has fallen behind. Alfred is in the lead. But what is this? Mumu is catching up at full speed.
and they reached the finish line. It was so close that we don't know who won. Everyone's exhausted. I won, I won, I'm the best. Rita, we need to see the photo finish to see who won. As soon as it's ready, we can see it. Here we go. And the winner of the first Happits Official Olympics is... Moo Moo! I'm the best of all. The fastest, the strongest. I'm the most incredible cow in the world. I'm the most tired cow, but the winner. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.